Hello, I'm going to try and walk you through exercise 10 in our book, The Beginner's Guide to SolidWorks 2010. This is exercise 10 on page 125. I'm going to walk you through the beginning parts of this exercise. So I'm starting here with a fresh view. I'm going to go to part, say OK. So I have a new part, a new drawing. Starting with extruded base, I'm going to pick the top plane. From the origin, I'm going to pick a center rectangle. Put the center at the origin, move the rectangle out. Before I go too much farther, I want to make sure I'm in inches because on my computer, as you can see, I never am. So there it is, inches. I say, oh, OK. Now I can uh, go to Smart Dimension, pick up the dimensions given in the exercise, 4 and 3. Say OK. Exit the sketch, puts me into Boss Extrude. We want this to be 0.5 inches. Now I don't want to go directly up when I extrude because I want the origin to be on the top plane. So I'm going to actually change direction here and extrude it down. It's not going to make any difference except that my plane is now on the top surface and so is my origin. So I say OK. So I've got that. The next thing I'm going to do is draw a center line. So let's look at the top. Go to sketch. I'm going to draw a center line on this surface. So the top surface where I have my origin, I'm going to go from the origin up and down here. So now I have a center line. Say OK. By hitting Escape, I have a center line. Now I want to put a plane through this center line, intersecting the top surface at 45 degrees. So let's take a look at that. Here's my top surface. I'm going to input, I'm going to exit the sketch, go to Features, and put in Reference Geometry. I want a plane. My first reference is going to be this top surface. So I have a plane now that's just sitting on top of this top surface. My second reference is going to be this center line. So I want it to go through the center line. So now I have a plane going through the center line, but it's at the wrong angle. Right. Angle is placed here. Now at 45 degrees, you'll notice this is how the extrusion should come out, but I need a surface to draw the uh, hexagon on. So I'm actually going to make this 135, rotate it 90 degrees, in other words. So there's my surface to draw on. So I say, OK. Now I have a plane to draw on. So I'm going to go to that plane. Click, by clicking on it, hitting Normal 2, and I get uh, a view. Now notice this put it upside down, so I'm going to click again and turn it around. All right, so now I'm looking at it from the top, perpendicular to the plane. At this point, I can draw this uh, polygon. Six-sided, we're going to make it circumscribed so that I can give the correct dimension. I'll put it here. Uh, we'll call it 1.5 that they call for. I say OK. And there it is. At this point, um, I probably want to make these two things uh, horizontal, right? So let's see if we can add a relation between this and this and we'll make them parallel. Notice that tilted it just a little bit. Say OK. So now I have a drawing. We'll exit out of the sketch. I have a drawing of a hexagon sitting on this plane. So let me turn it back, if I can, to the normal view that we would see. So I'm going to pick this uh, sketch of the hexagon, the sketch, and we're going to extrude it. Right, so let me turn it a little bit. I don't want it going in this direction. I want it in the other direction, so I'm going to turn it around. And it's going to go, to, I'm going to say two inches. 
they don't actually give us anything in the book. But notice that it doesn't give me the other side of the plane. It doesn't fill in this little gap here, but there's a direction two. By hitting direction two, I can move that extrusion in, in two directions. I don't want blind, I want up to next. And that fills it in. I say, OK. Now I have the part ready to finish up. All right, so hopefully that gets you started. You still need to add the uh, counter bores on the corners, the fillets on the corners, and that um, kind of groove going around the, the hex. So hopefully that gets you started.